welcome to the programme. Everybody, you're watching The Pulse live from Bloomberg's European headquarters in London. I'm Anna Edwards. Let's get back to our top story then. We begin with a Bloomberg exclusive. Some of the biggest names in banking are in Salzburg today. They're at the Global Summit to rethink conventional business and banking models. Jonathan Ferro is at the Forum of Finance. Uh, Jonathan, no small topic then on the, uh, on the agenda today. Yeah, the, the future of finance, Anna, some big, big questions. We've talked a little bit about credit provision here in the Eurozone, banks versus capital markets, how that can develop when you compare and contrast what happens here versus, say, in the United States. And then you look at the United States and some of the big, big fines imposed on some of the biggest banks here in the Eurozone, and you ask the question whether there is a risk of regulatory overreach. Are these banks becoming, quote, overwhelmed? It's something Douglas Flint, the chairman of HSBC, has talked a lot about recently. I'm going to be catching up with him a little bit later about that. And I also have a very special guest sitting about two metres to the right of me. Andreas, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We're going to start by talking about some of the headwinds that banks face at the moment. Regulatory headwinds, we've got all of these stress tests, and there are some complaints that the banks in the Eurozone right now are, quote, overwhelmed. What's your take on that? This is a very, very thorough exercise. Uh, which takes quite some time and the results are very important. Back to you, Anna. Jonathan, thank you very much for that. Jonathan Farrow live in Salzburg. Better than 2012, Andreas Dombret told us. Let's go back to Austria, where Jonathan Ferro is standing by at Salzburg at the Global Sen Seminar there on banking. He has a Bloomberg exclusive interview for us. Jonathan. Thank you very much, Anna. Starting to develop into a beautiful morning here in Salzburg. Very laid back feel to what's happening here. And I've got a very special guest for you. It's Douglas Flynn, the chairman of HSBC. Douglas, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Financial stability is the big issue here. It's what everybody's talking about. We see more stress tests, more stress tests, more regulation coming from various geographies. From your perspective, though, is there a risk here that banks are starting to get overwhelmed? And what are the unintended consequences of this? Well, I think the stress tests have added a, a, a really important dimension to the whole capital framework. I mean, we've now got Thank you very much for joining us this morning in Salzburg. The sun is just starting to come out, Anna. It's going to be a great day here. A lot to think about and some big topics. A far-reaching conversation with Douglas Flint, a very special exclusive for us this morning. I'll leave you with that. John, thank you very much. Jonathan Farrow and HSBC's chairman, Douglas Flint. I'm very happy to bring you Wim Mice. He is the incoming head of the European Banking Federation. A lot to talk about here at the Salzburg Global Forums. Wim, let's start with regulatory overreach. We've seen some big, big fines come in from the US for many European banks, numbers that for some people seem to be plucked from thin air. How concerned are you about regulatory overreach, and would you like to see it on the agenda at the G20 later this year? I would like to see it uh, tabled, and the most important thing is not the individual case. It's a lot of regulation has been done on both sides of the... Uh, 